Hi, you guys, it's T.A. And Megan. And in today's morning meeting, we talked about animals a lot. And I remembered that my son had this really cool book called Animals Born Alive and Well. I'm going to read it to you. Winter, summer. I'm sorry, winter, spring, summer, fall. A hare's hair changes with them all. That's the same hair. That's what people call rabbits sometimes, but their fur changes with the season so that they're camouflaged. Mammals are animals with fur or hair who nurse their young and breathe fresh air. They don't lay eggs except these two. These are the only two that do. It's a spiny anteater and a duck-billed platypus. They don't lay eggs as I have said. They're born alive and well instead. So there's two mammals in the whole world that lay eggs. Those are the only kind. Isn't that amazing? Sometimes mammals hair is scant as on the thick skinned elephant. So these are pictures of African elephants. Look at the babies. They cute. But here's a pair with lots of hair. They're types of dogs. This one's called a Pekingese. This one's a Yorkshire Terrier. Look at his face. They're both pretty cute. You notice, I think most animals are cute. <laughs> and here are lots with stripes and spots. Look at all those, we'll go through their names. So here we have an Okapi, or Okapi. We have zebras, a ring-tailed lemur. Ooh, tigers, I didn't even see the tiger, he's so well hidden. And a leopard, also camouflaged. We have a giraffe. And this last one is a different kind of leopard called a cloud leopard. Do you see how his spots are so much bigger? And these mammals have scales and spikes and nails. But all of them are mammals. So this one hanging here is a pangolin. And this one is a three-banded armadillo. Here's a nine-banded armadillo. And last, we have a porcupine. So are camels. Camels are mammals. And like all others, they are nourished by their mothers. So look at all the camels. You see the baby down here? Drinking milk from its mama. Mammals wild. There's a gazelle. We have a deer. Lots of deer in Minnesota, aren't there? And this little animal down here is called a stoat. And they are related to ferrets. So, Mammals wild and mammals tame. All do more or less the same. There's a mama kitty with her baby kittens on a bed. My cat does that a lot, laying around on the bed. Now, marsupials are a bit different, but they are still mammals. When they are very, very small, into their mother's pouches, they crawl and grow, just like this kangaroo. So marsupials are a type of mammal 
where the mommies have a big pocket that the baby can fit in to stay warm. And there's koala bears. Bear type of marsupial. That's a big word, isn't it? Mammals all breathe air, you understand. This isn't hard for those on land. Look at all these types of mammals. Let's go through them, okay? We have a moose, a mandrel, a panda, a guinea pig, a kangaroo rat, an artfark, a rhinoceros, a bighorn sheep, a weasel, a hare, a squirrel, and on this side, we have this big deer is called a follow deer. We have a bison, a wild goat, a red fox, a hippopotamus, a giant anteater, and what's this last one? A prairie dog. So, this isn't hard for those mammals on land or even those underground. Oh, look at that. Who's this animal? That's a mole. And they have a tunnel house, you see? There's a babies. There's a mommy or a daddy. Or those who fly. Are those bats? Bats are mammals like us. Or all of these that climb up so high. Look at all those different ones. Let's go through them. We have a gibbon. We have a tarsier. Look at the big eyes. We have a marmoset. A baboon. It's one of my favorite words to say, baboon. We have spider monkey, a gibbon. There's a silly gibbon at the Minnesota Zoo. A sloth, and this animal's called a bush baby. But mammals living in the sea have to surface out of the water frequently. They have to come out of the water to breathe. So let's go through those. We have a porpoise, a sperm whale, a walrus, a seal. We have a sea otter, dolphin, and one of my favorite sea creatures, a manatee. The porpoise, whale, and manatee have their babies in the sea. So there's the porpoise with their babies. Here's a humpback whale with their baby. And look at the manatee. They hold their babies just like we hold our babies. The walrus, seal, and otter prefer to leave the water when they have their babies. So there's the otter with their babies and the big, sorry, the big walrus, see, with their babies. And there's the seal. And when the baby seals are born, they are furry and white to camouflage them in the wild. These are prehistoric. That means that they lived a very long time ago and they're no longer on the earth but they were mammals too. Now, these have big scientific names that I'm probably not going to pronunciate right, but I'm gonna try. This is a glyptodont down here. This one looks like it could have been in Star Wars and it's called Gompfatherum. You got me, but looks like it could have been a Star Wars creature. This is a Macaranchnia. 
also another Star Wars looking animal. And a Baluthacherium. My goodness, what a mouthful. Their names are very long indeed and may be very hard to read. Well, I prove that point. They were difficult to read. But the largest mammal is the blue whale and the smallest mammal is the shrew. Look how big that whale is. And look how tiny these guys are. Teeny tiny. But the best of all the mammals are people just like me and you. And look at all the different kinds of people there are. There's so many different kinds of people. There's no more to discuss. Everybody who's born alive is viviparous. Vi from cheetahs, tapers, hedgehogs, lions, pigs, sheep, and horse. Look at those animals. So, if it's winter, spring, summer, or fall, the snowshoes, hairs, hair changes with them all. That's the end of that book. I hope you like animals born alive and well. I hope you're doing well today. And I will see you later. Bye.